What's up, y'all? It's Emil, and it's Junior back here with Clever News. And just when you thought the drama between TikTok and President Trump couldn't get any more heated, TikTok is reportedly suing President Trump for trying to ban the app in the United States. All right, so if you're a fan of TikTok, you've probably been keeping up with the news about Donald Trump announcing his plans to ban TikTok in the United States using his executive authority. We're looking at TikTok. We may be banning TikTok. We may be doing some other things. Lawmakers in both political parties have actually expressed concerns over TikTok's Chinese ownership and fears that TikTok's parent company may be sharing data of American users with the Chinese government. But Trump made a surprise announcement last month that he plans to ban the app, which shocked fellow U.S. officials, fans, and TikTok itself. Trump went on to set a deadline of September 15th for the app to be bought by a U.S. company or else he plans on shutting it down. So it'll close down on September 15th unless Microsoft or somebody else is able to buy it and work out a deal, an appropriate deal. And at the time, many reports said that it doesn't seem like Trump has the power to just ban TikTok. But last week, he actually put in place an executive order calling the wide use of Chinese apps like TikTok a, quote, national emergency. So as of last Thursday, he went ahead and signed an executive order to ban TikTok in 45 days. And this is the executive order that TikTok is now reportedly suing him over. So what did it say? Well, the executive order says, TikTok automatically captures vast swaths of information from its users, including internet and other network activity information, such as location data and browsing and search histories. This data collection threatens to allow the Chinese Communist Party access to Americans' personal and proprietary information potentially allowing China to track the locations of federal employees, build dossiers of personal information for blackmail, and conduct corporate espionage. But it's important to note that the executive order bans ByteDance, TikTok's parent company based in China, not TikTok itself. So this still leaves the possibility for TikTok to continue operating in the US under an American company like Microsoft, which has been in talks about buying some or all of TikTok. And a TikTok ban would impact more than just the 100 million users and all of the famous TikTokers in the United States. More than 1,000 US-based employees could have their paychecks indefinitely frozen. It could force landlords where TikTok operates to evict them, and it could make it nearly impossible for American lawyers to represent TikTok in any US legal proceedings. So shortly after Trump's executive order was published, TikTok came out with their own statement slamming the Trump administration, writing, quote, for nearly a year, we have sought to engage with the U.S. government in good faith to provide a constructive solution to the concerns that have been expressed. What we encountered instead was that the administration paid no attention to facts, dictated terms of an agreement without going through standard legal processes, and tried to insert itself into negotiations between private businesses. And now, according to multiple reports, TikTok is planning to sue the Trump administration and challenge the president's executive order banning the app from the United States. NPR is reporting that TikTok will file a federal lawsuit with the U.S. District Court in California as soon as Tuesday. NPR also said that the lawsuit will argue that Trump's far-reaching action is unconstitutional because it failed to give the company a chance to respond. According to their source, it also alleges that the Trump administration's national security for the order is baseless. The insider said, quote, it's based on pure speculation and conjecture. The order has no findings of fact, just reiterates rhetoric about China that has been kicking around. The source added that the president's order seemed rushed and did not include any opportunities for TikTok to have legal representation, which the company plans to argue is a violation of their rights. So basically what that means is that TikTok is saying it's unfair to punish them with a ban without giving them a chance to present their side of the story in court. The White House supposedly declined to comment on the potential lawsuit, but they defended the president's executive order saying, quote, the administration is committed to protecting the American people from all cyber-related threats to critical infrastructure, public health and safety, and our economic and national security. And fans are taking to Twitter to share their thoughts on all of this. One person said that plenty of other companies are guilty of, quote, stealing data, writing, Apple, Google, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram all do the exact same thing in one form or the other. What percentage of responsibility is on you? Read the fine print. Another Twitter user chimed in saying, 2020 is funny. So now TikTok is supposedly filing a lawsuit against the leader of the free world. And this person made their stance clear tweeting, only in America would TikTok be banned before semi-automatic rifles. So it looks like the only thing that's certain right now regarding the future of TikTok in the United States at least, is that it's completely uncertain. I feel like that's just a 2020 theme at this point, but I guess we'll just have to enjoy TikTok for the next 39-ish days and hope for the best. 
Obviously, we'll keep you guys updated on this story as it continues to unfold. But for more TikTok news, click right over here to check out what Charlie D'Amelio thinks about TikTok's newest competitor, Instagram Reels. And then let us know your thoughts on this whole TikTok ban and if you think it will actually get banned in the United States down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emilio Nish Jr., and I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.